Hello, welcome to my channel. In this step by step video, I will show you all the possible reasons due to which um, your plugin add new tab is missing. Like here, when we see that, when we come on our plugin page, I see that add new tab is missing. So, there are possible three reasons. Um, we will cover all these step by step. So, first come first. First of all, you need to disable all your plugin. Click here and deactivate all your plugin and check whether this work or not okay here you can see that i have deactivated all my plugins but a new tab is still missing so we again activate all our plugins we have sure one thing that this problem is not due to our plugins if this problem is due to your plugin then you need to activate one by one plugin and check which plugin is creating problem so you should replace that plugin with their updated version okay so let's move on our second step go to appearance and your themes option here you need to activate some demo theme like 2017 I activate this thing and check whether there is problem in a theme or not okay so when I go on a plugin tab here you can see that my plugin tab is visible so uh, one thing is sure that this problem is due to uh, my uh, theme and so uh, how we can uh, remove this uh, from our themes for this purpose you need to go your your C panel then move on your themes that you have activated and go to their function.php file and edit this file here we need to find a function due which uh, this problem is so basically press ctrl f and find this variable here you can see that mm, someone have defined and uh, this disallow file mode true so uh, if this uh, if you find this in your code simply you remove this and save your files and again come back to your theme and activate your original theme after activating the theme you see uh, there is we have our plugin add new plugin tab okay so basically these are two reasons if you don't find that code and uh, you uh, do not find any plugin that creating problem then we need to move on the third problem so third problem is uh, relatively long but you need to um, go step by step okay for this purpose you need to move on your hosting go to your main file directory okay so basically here you need uh, first of all you need to backup all your files okay uh, so I am creating backup of all my files after your backup uh, will create it uh, you need to do uh, some steps okay I will show you uh, step by step so after compressing the file close the window okay so you need to select all files make sure you don't select wp content folder your recently created backup and wp config file okay remaining all the files you need to delete them and make sure they directly move in a your in your trash folder okay don't skip trash okay okay so uh, the next step is we need to download uh, fresh wordpress file so 
so we will replace all these files with our files okay get wordpress and download latest wordpress it will take some time let's come after the downloading finish open your directory and extract your wordpress file after extraction and open your wordpress folder make sure you must delete wp content folder okay delete this folder and again compress all these files to the zip file and then upload these files uh, in your hosting okay so let's move on your hosting so upload I will upload this WordPress folder. Make sure you have deleted your WP content folder and then make a zip file of your WordPress. Okay, and then upload. After this, you need to move your home folder again. Okay, here is your WordPress. Extract your WordPress here. Okay. Extract all these files. Close this and then go to your website that's all when we navigate our plugin tab we see that there is add new tab in our plugin folder okay so basically these are possible steps due to which uh, add new tab is missing first of all you need to deactivate all your plugins and check whether it work or not if work that's well otherwise you need to check uh, your theme then for that purpose you need to activate some other theme and uh, if check that uh, plugin type work or not if it is working uh, there is problem in your theme uh, that might be possible uh, your theme was not updated to the latest version you need to update your theme to the latest version if your theme is already updated then you need to navigate in your themes file and find the function.php file and then you need to find the code that i have i have already um, show you okay if these two tricks don't work then there is a final trick you need to replace all your wordpress core file with the fresh wordpress files for that purpose you need to do all the steps that i have already show you uh, so uh, hope hope so, uh, this will work for everyone uh, thank you for watching this video